Hey everybody, welcome to Grind Time. I'm excited because we get to talk to some agents about an important thing and that's gonna be how to nail the first 30 seconds of an insurance call. Don't get me wrong, you can take this, if you're making calls in any industry, you can take these same principles and apply them there. I'm gonna be speaking specifically to insurance agents because I struggled here, right? And I believe that most of the people who struggle on the phone, if you're honest with yourself, you're saying it's happening within 30 seconds. So really important, people get to understand whether or not they like you and they trust you and very, very quickly. You don't have very much time. Some people say five seconds, 10 seconds, doesn't matter, no. It is a very short period of time. So if I can master getting people to like me, trust me, understand that I'm a professional willing to help them very, very quickly, then and then will I book some appointments. And so the first thing that that every brand new agent on the phone, you're, you're, you're getting ready to make dials, you've got to have some confidence, right? The first place that, that confidence is going to be tested is right on the phone. I've got to understand that I am the agent that's got, the, I'm the professional here, right? I'm the agent that's got the credentials. I, I've got the insurance license. This person asks for my help. I'm going to provide it for them. I have to understand that this is a person that's interested. They put all, they took the time to fill out a form, put all their information on it. They, they, they are a interested prospect. They're a person who needs my help. They requested it. And I've got to be confident enough to be able to understand that I'm the right person for them to do business with. That's number one. Number one is confidence. i to be confident. The second thing that brand new agents by default uh, can get a whole lot better and, and really focus on is assumption. We were all trained that assumption isn't necessarily the best thing to do. Don't assume. Don't assume. You'll make a you know what of me and you. Well, this is a little bit different. And assumption is actually going to play in your favor throughout the whole sales process. The first place it's going to play in your favor is in the first actually three to four seconds of the phone call. And so we've got to make sure that we are willing to use this tool that's in our tool belt. One of the greatest tools that any brand new agent can utilize is assumption, right? First off, I've got to assume that this is John. I've got to assume that this is John. So that means don't, don't quit saying, hello, is this John? I need you to quit saying that. If I'm calling a person or if I'm answering my phone, I want to come across as, well, friendly. I want to be somebody who, I want this to be somebody I know, somebody I want to talk to. I don't want to be thinking, who is this? People are trying to add, answer two questions right away, right? The first question they're trying to answer is, who is this? The second question they're trying to answer is, why do I care? Why do I even care? Right? And so I've got to do a great job in the very beginning of assuming that this is a person that their name is on the form. This is John Edwards. I've got to be willing to assume it. So instead of saying, hello, is this John? It's just simply, hey, John, right? That sounds like I'm maybe somebody you know, right? And, and the second thing that I've got to assume is, well, that because I called them John and they responded to that, I don't need to call them to call me Mr. Whitaker. And so, hello, John. Hey, this is Jeremy. First names. This is Jeremy. I've got to be, introduce myself. Remember, who are you and why do I care? So I'm calling to do two things, right? I'm calling to one, introduce. I want to introduce myself. And two, I want to verify it. Confidence, assumption, introduce yourself, verify, right? All of this stuff. Now, why would I use that word verify? Now, verify is way less offensive than using the word information. I'm calling to gather some information. I'm calling to ask a couple questions. I hear a lot of new agents say, hey, I'm calling to get some more information about this, All right? I don't want to give you more information. I don't know you, right? Why would I want to give you more information? 
And so quit saying that. Quit saying it. You want to say, hey, calling to verify information. Verify information means that I already have all the information I need about you. I just need you to say yes, right? And verifying information is going to put you in a place where you're getting a client to say yes over and over. And the more times you can get them to say yes, the better chances that you're going to actually sit down with them and be able to take care of the needs that they have. So verify. The last thing that's going to be super helpful if you're getting on the phones for the first time, you're struggling your first 30 seconds of the phone call, is going to be making sure you pause in the right places, right? You've got to watch where you pause. Sometimes it sounds like a brand new agent or an inexperienced agent is waiting on an objection, right? If I'm pausing at, hey, I'm calling about the letter that you sent about mortgage protection, and I'm waiting for them to say yes, yes, they could say, uh-huh, I remember that, or they could say, I don't remember that, or what are you talking about, or I'm not interested. I don't want to pause there. I don't want to open up for a no. I want to verify so that I can get yeses, right? And so pausing in the right place is going to help out a whole lot. It should sound like a big run along sentence. Now, what if I'm short of air and I can't get that many words out? Well, then if you're going to pause in a place where you're not going to get a yes, then make it an awkward place. Make it a place where that client is hanging on every word you're saying like, man, what is he getting ready to say? So I'm calling about that letter you sent in about getting the information on the mortgage protection, right? If I'm going to pause, pause there. I'd rather not even pause there. I'm calling about the letter you sent in about getting the information on the mortgage protection. I'm the agent that they signed to the case. I want to introduce myself. I want to be able to verify the information that you sent back, make sure I'm looking at everything correctly. I've got your address here as blank. They're going to say yes, right? That's their address. I've got your age as blank. And I want to verify what they already gave me so I get them in the habit of saying yes right away. I'm telling you, if you get these five fundamental principles down, you will nail the next phone call and every phone call, especially those first 30 seconds. We'll see you soon.